Hey guys, this is a quick unbox and review of this kit. We're gonna open it up. Now, something you may not notice, uh, I may notice right away, is the zippers, they all pike a damage pretty right, right away, basically. Um, you don't notice the quality, you just break off pretty fast. Um, with this kit, you get these things. Now, I'll open this up in a second. First, gonna, we're gonna be taking a look at the main box. Now the main box, you can see it just pops up right away. And you just take out this part. And there you got your box. So it's pretty transparent, which is good and bad for a lot of reasons. Um, you can mess around with it to move it around a little bit. I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see better. Okay guys, so that's a better view of it. Um, as you can see, these things attach to the sides. Okay. It all sticks. So once you have this closed up, just close it up for you. You put your camera through here. Let's say this is the camera I'm using, which I'm not, it's just an antique I have. Um, you would just put it in there. Maybe you put a little tripod there to hold it and then take a picture. Um, personally, I wouldn't use this. I see no need for it. Unless you're taking a picture of something with glass or a mirror on it, then this is ideal up to a certain point because you, you're still going to see that reflection from your camera however you will cancel out other stuff and then you can photoshop it easier right so it is useful because of that not the drawbacks from it let me just open these up so you guys can see them now to give you a quick uh, view of this and you can kind of get an idea of the dimensions of this box um, here's a camera so that's the dimensions to it um, let me put an iPad beside it if I can just find my iPad there we go so this is an iPad um, so that's approximately how big it is just a little bit bigger than an iPad uh, the width maybe two times the iPad same thing up here, kind of get get an idea of it, okay, so you, you kind of get an idea of the dimensions, and my pad would fit in here no problem, okay, but uh, I wouldn't put anything bigger than an iPad, alright, uh, obviously thicker and all that, yes, but uh, bigger, that much bigger, not really, because you wouldn't have really much space, unless you're doing micro photography, um, so these things that you get to put in there, they're really useful. Um, I would actually get rid of these lines that come with it, uh, because they're, they've been folded, right? So you get these lines, uh, for sure, you have to get rid of those before placing them. Um, I'll place them in just a second, I'll show you just the other ones that come with this. I would probably just use the white one and maybe, maybe the black one. In photography, wouldn't really see a use for the other ones. So you do get two sides for it. Obviously, you're gonna use this side. This side could, if you don't, if you don't want any reflection, if you want really matte finish, you would use this side. Um, I can see that happening. So that's the same thing with the white one. You can use the other side, which would be for a matte finish, really, really matte finish. And same thing goes for the red, I mean, you get the matte finish and the glossy on, on the other side. Depends what you're taking pictures of, you're gonna see that you will need that or maybe not. I would probably only go for the matte finish all the time, but it all depends really. Um, for your flash, you're gonna have to place it here. You could place lights on the sides throughout the whole box since it's a little bit transparent. Um, if you put a flash right here on the side of it or any side of it really for that matter um, 
the light will go through it since this is pretty transparent like I'm telling you guys let me just give you guys a quicker close-up to it I mean you can see that it's pretty transparent let me just put my hand in it so you guys can see so anything this transparent for sure um, with your flash your flash will go through it so that's a good thing that's a good thing um it's not too transparent so if you have a lot of stuff on the background far away you won't be able to see it but um other than that it's pretty good so i like it that, that much um let me just set this up and then show you guys how that looks like okay so basically you can set this up in many ways um as you can see you just put it up there and I wouldn't really stick it inside because then it's kind of pointless to put this but if you do I mean you're gonna get that break right there but um, I think your pictures will look better if you have this open once again uh, I wouldn't do it with a, a mirror object but if you put this like that on it you'll get that slide okay um, like I said first I would get rid of these lines first first of all other than that the material itself from these things they look all right I mean I wasn't expecting better than this um, from this I didn't expect it to be as transparent as it is however I'm fine with the fact that it's transparent I can see that working in my favor quite a bit um, to fold it up it's it's not hard it's not easy it's intermediate you kind of have to figure it out how to put it back together um, without breaking it it's pretty delicate so I wouldn't mess around with it too much from what you can see I mean when I snapped it out it snaps out pretty easy obviously this has been folded like that for a long time so that's that's why it's like this or else it would be a little bit straighter other than that I can see that the material is okay um, like I put it back together it would be a little bit of a challenge without breaking it from what I see but it does it does come in together I mean, like all these things that you put together you can you just get a hang on it as you can see it's kind of a struggle until you get used to it um, so once you have it then you can just put it back but other than that like I showed you in the start, it does snap, and it's all good. So I wouldn't fold it too much because these things do tend to break after a while. I would just leave it open actually, and um, yeah, try to keep it clean because that's why you want this white, right? Other than that, guys, I do recommend it somehow, somewhat. You will see some pictures on my review of it. It's just an unboxing, but on the review of this, you will see some pictures. Um, people use this for a lot of pictures but it's one of those things that it's handy to have it's not a must you can just place this over something white and that's it you're set up so yeah if you guys have any questions comments please here below write them here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you